Hello, this is old Tom Styles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and this is another ebook review. Now, I think it's important for me to do these ebook reviews. <laughs> oh, is that a profound statement? Oh, geez. Anyway, my point is. The problem, one of the problems with ebooks is when you, for instance, when you go onto Amazon, they will give you a little look inside. Unfortunately, some of those are really short. So, Windows has detected that your computer performance is slow. No kidding! I'm using a laptop and I'm pushing it to the limit. Oh, gosh. Anyway, where was I? Oh, okay. So, I think it's important that I get these books, e-books, and review them and let you know whether they're any good or not. And this is one that I think is an excellent book. And I, I, try, I try to pick ones that I think are going to be good. But it doesn't always turn out that way for one reason or another. And it really doesn't depend on the price. I've seen very good books for 99 cents. I've seen terrible books for 29.95. So you really can't go by that and you can't go by the little view. I wish that would quit telling me that my jeez. Oh, anyway, um, so this is one. This is only $2.99 on the Amazon store. And the title of it is Portable Wire Antennas by John Hill. And I've reviewed this book, and to me, it looks like a very good buy if you're interested in making portable wire antennas. So let's, I'm going to briefly go through it. I don't want to give away too much because... This is a copyrighted book, so I have to be a little careful. And then there's that dumb pop-up thing warning me that my computer is slow. Okay. So anyway, we're moving on. Well, maybe we are. Okay, here we go. Okay, it gives you a little introduction about backpack portable communications, about using HT radios, and then a little history about SWR, antenna impedance, um, how do you calculate the length of an antenna, some of the factors that goes into the antenna, what kind of uh, transmission lines there are, and then it gets into the specifics. Now first it talks about transmission lines, and one thing good about this book is it has a lot of diagrams and a lot of pictures. For me, that's good. If it's a coloring book format, I can follow it. So we'll move along. And then here to discuss some of the general characteristics of antennas. Um, talks about antenna tuners. Um, I'm kind of of the school that I haven't seen much improvement in using an antenna tuner when you're only receiving. It's a definite need if you're going to transmit on multiple frequencies. So that's what I have to say. And there's an example of one. And they can get they can be very expensive expensive from hundred dollars or less or the color scheme has been changed. Oh, what is this computer doing to me? Then it talks about balance and transformers and how they affect your antenna performance to matching your antenna to your receiver. And there's, um, there's a discussion about wire antennas, types of wire antennas. Talks about making an antenna kit. There's deploying wire antennas. Um, this is a little gizmo that uses a slingshot and a fishing reel to get your antenna up in a tree or whatever. 
not really tried that. I usually just use the old throw it up there with my arm. And here's some information about where to get the wire for your antennas and what type of wire. Like I did a show where I showed using clothesline wire. And here's talks about a resident dipole kit that you can make. And most of this stuff is fairly, fairly easy to make yourself. Here's a simple dipole, di dipole antenna. And it tells you the formula for calculating the length of the wire. And here's some actual tables. So for instance, if you wanted to get uh, 7 megahertz, it says it needs to be 33 feet long. Okay, then it talks about an how important antenna height is. Here's another, here's an inverted V dipole. And there's the reverse, it's a V dipole. It's a sloper antenna. Most of these are very simple antennas. And there's the all band random wire dipole. Uh, which is what I use. Yeah, mine is prefabricated. I didn't make it. It's my G5 RV, which consists of these two lengths of wire and then this ladder line cable that feeds down. I have a balm and then I can connect to that balm via a coax cable. And it comes in by using the balm, it comes in at 50 ohms impedance which matches most receivers. Here's another antenna. Here's an off-center feed dipole. Another easy one to make. Here's a terminated folded dipole. And it just goes on and on and on. It goes all kinds of types of antennas. How to make them what do you need to make them? How do you set them up? There's another, there's another one that I've always wanted to make, but I don't quite have the clearance to make that one. And uh, and there we're down to the references. Uh, antenna, how do you test the antenna performance for comparing them? Probably talks about propagation a little bit. Propagation modes. Talks about using beacons to determine if reception is good. And that's about it. So I think this is a, an excellent uh, book for $2.99. It's like I say, it's an ebook. If you don't have an e reader or a tablet, you can use this Kindle for PCs application that you can download from Amazon and you can read these ebooks on your PC like I'm doing right now. So I hope you enjoyed the show. I plan on doing more reviews of these ebooks if I get enough positive response on my video. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and better yet, share it. Please do it. Share it. Bye.